What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everybody in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, the thing is this, fight fans. I just got finished listening to a recent interview with Jerron Boots Ennis, in which they asked Jerron Ennis how would he basically approach a fight with Earl Spence Jr.? And the reason they had bringing up Earl, if anybody don't know, Jerron Boots in his next fight is for the IBF interim title, which if he wins that belt, that will make him the mandatory to Earl Spence Jr. And so, you know, that fight is a very big possibility for Jerron Ennis. So people want to know how he would approach that fight. And according to Jerron Ennis, he's saying that he basically beat Earl at his own game and take the fight to Earl Spence Jr. Try to bully the bully, if you will. I find that to be a very interesting approach, man. I mean, I think that I always said over the time that the vulnerabilities that I've seen in Earl Spence Jr. come from one or two ways. And that is when you kind of take the fight to him and kind of stand through his storms and give him give him some of those uh, storms right back. It, you see a different fighter. And also he kind of gets clipped between punches. Now, I've seen these examples in the Kell Brook fight as well as fights to say with like Emmanuel Latte. And I noticed that, you know, these are the bend of vulnerabilities that I've seen from Earl Spence over time. And fighters that have taken the fight to Earl, such as Kell Brook, has had success, or such as Sean Porter has had success. Now, they've came short, but at the end of the day, they still have very big successes. You would think of a fighter like Jerron Boots Ennis, if he have those type of successes, will he run up the score with it? Now, Earl is no slouch fight fans. I mean, look here, man, putting Earl on the back foot, that's easy to say because Earl also does have other tools in his arsenal. Earl got good feet. Earl can, can definitely has a long extended jab. Uh, Earl has an educated jab as, as well. And Earl also has a lot of heart. So at the end of the day, it's not going to be uh, easy. He's not just like a, a straight up and down type cat where, you know, he can't move and he's just stiff and stuff like that or he can't adjust. He can. We've seen different layers to Earl Spence Jr.'s game over time. The Mikey Garcia version of Earl Spence Jr. is nothing like, say, the Kell Brook version of Earl Spence Jr. You feel me? So, I mean, we've seen layers to his game. And, I mean, to say, you know, if Jerron is looking to take that fight to Earl, Earl may make an adjustment and look to maybe go on the back foot and move a bit more and keep that full extension on his jab. The thing is, Jerron got length as well. So that'd be very interesting. And now on top of that, Jerron can also go southpaw could take a certain advantage away from Earl Spence well I mean at the end of the day it just it will always come always come down to Earl is definitely the more experienced fighter that experience would definitely be key uh, Earl know what to expect in those big moments as for Jerron Ennis perhaps has never been to those moments and we don't know what to expect we just gotta wait and see man but interesting approach from Jerron Ennis the one up to, to want to take the fight to Earl Spence Jr. we ain't seen nobody do that since Sean Porter uh, 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 Ugas got in there and just stopped throwing punches He stood in the storms But he didn't want to trade no more You know what I mean So it didn't really make sense So we'll see fight fans uh, If Jerron Ennis does uh, happen to get that shot man, And he want to take the fight With this type of approach Man it's going to be a cracking ass That will be a cracking ass stylistic fight Right there Joe Real spill Thumbs up on the way out. We didn't hit it on the way in Share 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 rock the bells man. I catch up with y'all in the next live stream To the next video man Peace out